breaking news overnight. Greensboro police are investigating a shooting that left one person hurt. According to police, officers responded to Rocky Knoll Road just before 4 a.m. Authorities found the victim suffering from a gunshot wound. We're told they were taken to the hospital with serious injuries and no suspect information has been released at this time. The investigation is still ongoing. And happening now, the Caswell County Sheriff's Office are investigating a deadly shooting. Deputies say this happened just last night in the parking lot of Marathon Gas Station off of Main Street in Yanceyville. Deputies found the victim suffering from a gunshot wound and were told they died at the scene. Deputies say two other people were taken to the hospital. So far, no suspect information has been released. And Elkies, Elkins City Police are investigating after a gun was found at an elementary school. According to Interim Superintendent Tracy McManus, a gun was brought to Elkin Elementary School yesterday. We're told no one was hurt. The district is working with police as they continue with their investigation. And happening now, the Orange County Sheriff's Office is investigating this morning after they saw some say someone vandalized a memorial that was dedicated to two teenagers who were murdered last year. This comes just days before the anniversary of their deaths. Officials say 18 year old Devin Clark from Alamance County and 14 year old Lyric Woods of Hillsboro were killed last year on September 17th. They say they were they were found with gunshots and they were shot to death on Buckhorn Road. WRAL says that the memorials were painted over with white and black paint. The office is offering a $3,500 reward for anyone who has information on who vandalized the memorial. And charges have been dismissed against a nurse in the 2019 death of John Naval. Michelle Hudgens was indicted by a grand jury last year on account of involuntary manslaughter. The decision came after an autopsy report showed that Neville died from complications of a brain injury. It says he also complained he couldn't breathe as officers tried to remove his handcuffs. The Forsyth County District Attorney's Office says that the charges against Hugens were dropped after the the Neville's family requested it. A man convicted in a high, a high profile crime in the late 90s was found dead early, earlier this week on Charleston Court in Winston-Salem. Chief William Penn says the person in that investigation has been confirmed as 52 year old Kelvin Michael Smith. You may have heard this name before. Smith was convicted in 1997 for assaulting Jill Marker, an employee at the former silk plant Forest Store on Peters Creek Parkway. His case sparked a lot of attention and the NAACP officials called for Governor Roy Cooper, who was a, an attorney general at the time, to review his case. Maintaining his innocence in the entire time, he served nearly 20 years in prison before getting released in 2016. And in 2018, Smith was convicted of a misdemeanor assault involving a woman. Police say right now details are still vague, but foul play was not involved in Smith's death. Cause of death will not be determined nor released until a toxicology report is completed. No further information will be released as the criminal investigation is still ongoing. Penn said that a toxicology report could take a while to get back.